Okay, so today I wanted to do a video about standing up for yourself as a Christian. I believe there's a common misconception about Christians and how we're supposed to respond to situations going on in the world or just maybe our own situations, individual situations. I was looking online and I saw this flyer that said something like, we're not our ancestors. We'll. It was advertising some event and it said, we're not our ancestors. We'll kick your butt or something similar to that. Not those exact words. So I noticed different comments that I see online that, you know, basically seem to imply if you're not being aggressive or violent, then you're weak or your methods are not effective. And that's simply not true. Now, the definition that I saw online of the word meek, I did see a definition that said uh, quiet, easily imposed on. Uh, what was the other word? Oh, gentle. But yet in the Bible, meek is referred to as being humble. It does refer to being gentle as well. There's nothing wrong with having a gentle, humble spirit. There's nothing wrong with being kind. The Bible does mention that the meek will inherit the earth. The Bible also mentions gentleness and patience as fruits of the spirit. However, just because you are a Christian doesn't mean that you have to let people walk all over you or, you know, just talk to you crazy. So in my other video, I mentioned how I had been afraid to stand up for myself when I was younger. So back then, like I said, my confidence wasn't good. And... I'm really talking about like the times people would try to cut me in line. I don't know. I just could not seem to find my voice. Like I was just frozen with fear. I didn't want to draw attention to myself. I also had this fear that maybe I would, I would be perceived the wrong way. Like maybe an angry black woman, but the, truth is people are going to have their preconceived notions about you anyway doesn't make any difference whether you open your mouth or not so I wanted to give a few examples of how God has helped me to stand up for myself throughout the years and I'm so glad that I'm finally starting to get to that point where I realize that I have value and I have the right to stand up for myself so, first example, <sighs> years ago, probably, I think it was 2015, and I went to a particular store to buy a gift for my secret Santa, which was a co-worker at work. So, the store was pretty crowded. I wanted to hurry up and get out of there, but, you know, I knew it was going to be a while. So, I finally picked out what I want and I got in line. I'm standing in line and I noticed this guy at a table nearby looking at some items and I had the sense that he was going to try to cut in front of me. So next thing I know he's asking the lady that's in front of me um, who's next in line or something like that or who was behind or if anybody was behind them. I spoke up and I said, I'm behind them, I'm next. And so the guy had this older lady with him. I guess they were together or I don't know if it was just some random lady just trying to stick her nose where it didn't belong. But they might have been together because I think I remember him saying to her that, well, she's not going to let us in front of her anyway or something. So... The lady, you know, starts up with me. She was trying to imply that I was being rude or something like that. Something to that effect. And I was like, no, I am here in line. You're not going to cut in front of me. And then it seemed like she tried to imply that because I'm black, you know, that, you know, black people are not 
collide or something like that. So this woman also <clears throat> tried to imply that I was not a good person or not a nice person because I didn't allow her and this person, this other person to cut in front of me. And she even said something that, she even said something like, oh, I watch the news. I see how you people or it, it was something like that. Something like basically implying like, well, I see how you black people do. I watch the news and I was just like, well, you can keep believing the lie. And she kept talking and running her mouth. And I think I said, I don't, oh my goodness. Did I say stop talking to me or... I don't remember but it was I just could not believe the audacity of this person to like come at me like this just because I you know stood up for myself but she said something else I don't remember what it was and I just was like look I'm not bothering you you came over here bothering me and I think after that she shut her mouth so <laughs> nothing else was said. But I just thought it was ridiculous. Like, how dare you try to, I guess, try to diminish me or minimize me or try to, you know, make me feel like I did something wrong because I stood up for myself. That's a bunch of BS. <laughs> I know that day God was with me because I had so many years of just being frozen with fear and then not responding or not doing anything and then looking back and kicking myself wishing that I had have said something. But he was with me because whenever I responded to this woman, you know, standing up for myself, it the words just came out. I didn't have to think. I didn't have to, you know, oh, should I say this? Should I say that? It just came out. So I was like, God was with me in that moment. He was definitely with me. Okay, so another example where God helped me to stand up for myself was when I was in a store. I was getting in line, and I, as I got in line, I don't know, I just felt uneasy. It was like a weird, uneasy feeling. And I thought, you know, is it just me? But it turns out it wasn't. So I got in line, and I noticed that there was a cashier at the other checkout line, like behind me. I noticed that she just kept staring at me and the cashier that was ringing me up, they were like saying things amongst each other, but I noticed that the other cashier kept staring at me and I was like, what the heck? And so I think I silently prayed like, Lord Jesus help me. And Next thing I know, I started staring at her back like, okay, what is it? What is the problem? And she eventually turned around and, you know, didn't look at me anymore. And so the cashier that was ringing me up, she wouldn't even look me in the face. <laughs> I have had so many scenarios where, you know, you have these insecure women who will try to, you know, say something or give you like a crazy look to try to put you down. And for years, you know, I thought, you know, is there something wrong with me? But then as I got older, I started realizing, no, the problem is not me. The problem is them. So in that moment, like I said, God helped me. He was with me. And I didn't say a word. All I did was just stared one of them down you know I didn't call anybody out their name or anything like that I just did a stare down and that <laughs> nipped it in the bud I guess so the last example that I have about the Lord helping me to stand up for myself was in regards to work I work with clients and so on this particular day I was on the phone with a client letting them know that they had certain verifications that were due the same day that I was talking to them. So I was telling the client what was needed 
and they got upset. I guess they didn't want to provide one of the verifications, so they started getting upset and yelling, and I tried to remain calm. You know, you don't really want to stoop to their level, but I got fed up and basically started snapping back. So I didn't use profanity. I didn't, you know, disrespect the client or anything like that, but I just started snapping back. Just basically saying like, you know, don't raise your voice to me. I just had had it. The person continued, you know, yelling and I eventually just hung up on them. I just, I was like, not today. You know, you just have those days where it's like, I'm not putting up with this today. And I remember right before that happened, I had prayed for strength because I actually had spoken to the person and then I had called them back. So I had prayed for strength and I guess, I don't know if I thought something was going to take a turn for the worse or if I was just praying for strength just to hopefully resolve the situation. Once again, I just thank God for giving me strength to stand up for myself with you know, these situations and whatever is to come. Like I said, just because you're a Christian, just because you follow Jesus does not mean that people should be able to walk all over you. I know I have a sort of meek, shy personality. I'm quiet. Like if you, if you were to be around me in person, you would know I'm quiet, I'm reserved. And I guess people think that they can run over you if you're like that. Even if you have a personality like me, if you're introverted, you can still be assertive. You can still stand up for yourself. And I'm sure God does not want us to be doormats. He doesn't want people to walk all over us and to mistreat us. I mean, people will mistreat us in this world. We don't have to stand for it. And that's not to say like respond to every single crazy thing you don't have to do that some things you can just ignore there are some scenarios where you actually have to stand up for yourself